Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Let Ebony Tarot. Today I'm going to be doing your general reading to see what's coming towards you for the second half of February. Um, thank you for your likes, comments, shares and subscribes. Um, remember the energies can go vice versa and if it doesn't resonate please remember to check your other placements okay so the overall energy is young natural love and at the bottom of the deck we've got don't let the waters run dry so when i see this it reminds me of like the ace of cups so someone has a waterfall of emotions for you like it's just pouring out someone sees you as someone that they're in love with you make someone feel um young like if you're like someone who's older that's watching this video or like a mature person this love makes you feel like you're back in school again i heard but somebody feels that they can be their authentic self with you oh and underneath that, we've got the family hair friend oh this is gorgeous so this might be a love reading guys but um yeah someone has got an abundance of love and emotions for you i feel like some of you have met somebody that you're really in love with or if you are in a relationship at the moment you're just loving up on each other so that's really lovely energy Okay, also some of you could be um, coming into union with a lover or a soulmate, a twin flame. So if some of you are single and you're wondering what's coming towards you, love, okay? So what's coming towards my beautiful Sagittarius's for February? Oh my God, okay, that was too many cards. One card, please, spirit. One card, sorry, I didn't shuffle it properly. Okay, there we go. No. What's coming towards? Oh my gosh, so many things are coming towards you guys. All right, one more time, one more time. What's coming towards Sagittarius is please and thanks. There we go. Okay, beautiful. We've got joy. Excellent. So happiness is coming. An abundance of happiness and joy. This is beautiful energy. This is really gorgeous. So joy is coming, okay? Also, I feel like you make someone very happy. They're gonna express this to you, okay? I feel like um, I heard fantasy or like fairy tale land. So some of you might feel like you're in a fantasy, like this is too good to be true. What's coming towards Sagittarius is, oh wow, we've got perfection. What did I say about meeting your soul mate? Every time I see this card, it reminds me of the soulmate because I see the yin and the yang and we've got perfection here. So someone thinks you're absolutely perfect. They feel like you're the perfect one for them. Oh my God, Sagittarius, is, this is gorgeous. I'm a bit jealous right now, a bit jealous, you know. Oh my God, I have no Sag in my chart. <laughs> Please clarify, not clarify, what's coming towards Sagittarius is, this is gorgeous. And we've got service. So someone wants to be of service to their king or their queen. Some of you also could be, um, you work in a delivery service. Somebody might be attracted to someone at their workplace as well. You might meet someone at work. Okay. Also, I'm hearing midwife, like somebody delivers babies or someone's going to um, give birth to a baby within the next two weeks. Um this is gorgeous i feel like the universe is serving you your divine partner which is going to make you very very happy so that's gorgeous energy if this isn't like a lover i'm trying to think how can i read this in another way something that you're in love with is coming towards you that you're going to feel is just perfect like it's just a perfect fit for you so it could be the perfect job the perfect opportunity i don't know but i really feel that this is you know, loving relationships. Yes, we've got emotion at the bottom of the deck. I'm just hearing, it's just emotions taking me over. Da -da -da -da. I'm looking at enlightenment and forgiveness. Oh no. Let's hope it's not someone from the past, eh? But someone is in their emotions. They're just feeling really happy that they found you. Like someone's really loved up here. So this is really gorgeous energy. So let's clarify. Let's pray that we, um, you know keep the good energies going you know so what's coming towards my beautiful Sagittarius is please clarify joy okay okay we've got boundaries interesting hmm so this could be someone that you put up boundaries or you block them and they want you to let your guard down also I feel like some of you might 
you know, you might be closed off to love, um, but you're going to fall in love with somebody or someone's going to open up your heart chakra. Like some of you might have a, 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 a blocked heart chakra and you're blocking your abundance. You're blocking your joy by not giving in to love. Okay. For others of you, if this is somebody from your past, because it is Mercury retrograde, so you know. Are we coming out of it now? I don't I don't know, but this could be somebody that you blocked. I just got two different stories. Somebody blocked somebody and and by blocking them, they're going to meet their perfect match because someone was just not in divine alignment with someone else, okay? Some of you put up boundaries and self-respect and, you know, doing that as well is going to bring you your true love or someone that you're dealing with has a newfound respect for you because you put up certain boundaries, okay? Please clarify perfection. Oh, oh my God, what was this? Wow, okay, we've got empowerment. Yes, what did I just say? Somebody... Somebody put up some sort of boundaries. They showed some sort of self-respect. They were like, no, the fuck. I'm not tolerating this, that, that, and a bag of chips. And this has made you very desirable and very attractive, okay? Someone just thinks you're perfect. They're just like, yes, yes. Um, also, this goddess, she is, um, and she's all about empowerment. She doesn't take BS from men in particular. That's her thing, like, she does whatever she wants to do, okay? So somebody, I don't know, they just see you as perfection. They see you as someone who's very, um, yeah, very empowering. I feel like it's like you're an empress, but with emperor energy, like someone who's very independent, like a, like a boss bitch, I'm hearing, like a boss bitch, okay? You just don't take any shit. I feel like this is making someone um, desire you more as well. Also, someone has a lot of passion for you, like a lot. They just think it's very sexy. I'm hearing someone thinks it's very sexy when you get angry. Someone thinks it's very sexy when you um, state your point and your views as well. Also, some of you could be feminists or into feminism. Please clarify service. What's coming towards? Um... Also, I heard someone say, like, I don't need no man. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, that's what you think. All this empowerment is really leading you into your divine partner and you're going to be all up in your emotions and all loved up and you don't even know it okay you don't even know it so please clarify service sorry guys like i just couldn't read for a minute please clarify service while well, we've got partnerships told you somebody wants to be of service to you they want to be your partner. This represents marriage as well. Also, again, like, you know, um, there could be somebody that you've met at work that you're, you know, you might be in partners in terms of, like, working together. And they might just tell you that, you know what? I like you, man. I've always liked you. You doing your work so sexy. Be mine. Let's, let's release these boundaries. I mean, I know we're at work, but it doesn't matter, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god why am i like this i don't know okay sorry guys that was it's quite funny to me but yeah so definitely okay somebody sees you as the one they want to be with and they want to have a lot of babies with you a lot a lot a lot of babies and at the bottom of the deck yes we've got nature could be dealing with um a scorpio because they got well, they got feelings and they got nature. So you, you might be, because there's a lot of water here as well. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. But yeah, I told you, this person wants to have a baby with you or they just, they see you as the, the center of their world. They want to grow with you. They want to nurture you. Um, someone just sees you as, yeah, the center of their universe. Someone also thinks a lot about you at nighttime. They feel like you're sent by the cosmos and we've got a lot of stars here. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius or someone just sees you as a star. Also, I feel like someone feels like your eyes sparkle like stars. There's something very dreamy about you. You just, you know, look at the way this 
this guy's looking at this girl, how they're just looking at each other, just in a daze, like he just doesn't see anyone else but her. She is perfection in his eyes, okay? So that is really gorgeous energy. Let's keep going. Coming towards Sagittarius's, please clarify boundaries. What's coming towards Sagittarius's? Not too many cards. Please clarify boundaries. <sighs> Way too many cards again. Come on, spirit, please and thanks. Oh my god, so many cards. All right, if it happens again, I'm just going to take one out of the bunch. Okay, resurrection with the stars again. There's so much Aquarius energy about, I've noticed. Or someone can just have a fascination with stars. They might stargaze. Someone definitely thinks about you heavy at night time. Okay, there's something that keeps someone up at night. So they might work night shifts or they might just be up at night. They might be someone that likes to like look up at the stars or you might have a significance with stars in this person or astronauts or something i don't know okay but if this is some of your past like i feel like they want to resurrect the situation with you if not this is the sky goddess like she's a galaxy goddess so again you know at the bottom of the deck here when it's like someone sees you as the center of their universe like this is how someone feels about you okay but i feel like someone is going to pop up from nowhere you could be dealing with a scorpio as well um yeah, someone's going to pop up from nowhere to tell you something that's really going to make you happy. I don't feel like you're going to expect it. I feel like someone's going to pop up behind a wall or something. <laughs> like, I really do. You might be walking and someone just comes on the corner like, hey, babe. So, like, I've been on you and I know you're on me. Okay, let me just stop being silly. Empowerment, please. Please clarify empowerment. What's coming towards Sagittarius's? Oh, too many cards. There's so much things coming towards you, Sages. We've got independence with the empowerment. I told you, like, someone is a boss bitch or a boss dude. And um, I feel like this person finds it very attractive that you're independent. Like, someone is just independent. They're just about their stuff, okay? They're very strong. You're very strong-willed, strong-minded. Like, you just have a lot of willpower, I'm hearing. Could be a Leo dealing with a Leo. I feel like somebody doesn't want you to be single anymore as well. Gorgeous. I also feel like some of you might have been single for a long time and it's saying like, you know, stop putting up boundaries, resurrection, like, you know, put yourself back out there, rise like a phoenix, get into that scorpionic energy and stop being so mysterious, come out, because there's somebody waiting for you, okay? Like, we've literally delivered a partner to you. But let's clarify partnerships. <sighs> okay, well, no. Sorry, that was like three cards. There we go, thank you. Definitely could be dealing with an Aries. Um, but yeah, somebody wants to ascend with you. Also, this is somebody from your past or you're not speaking to. You've had a bit of a rocky situation. This goddess takes, moves people from rocky waters into calm waters. So it's kind of like the six of swords energy here. But somebody definitely wants to ascend with you. They want to grow with you, okay? I just heard reach for the stars. Someone feels like if they're with you, they would, um, you'd make a great partnership in terms of money, love like just in all aspects and yes we've got divine feminine at the bottom of the deck and we've got fresh start underneath and we've got boldness okay so yeah with the stars again someone is definitely wishing and praying and talking about you to the cosmos we've got stars all over here some of you might wear stars you might have star studs stars earrings you might have star tattoos this could be an aquarius male you're dealing with because this man has a star on him right here Okay, this could just be saying that this is your wish fulfillment. Like some of you might have been in denial, like I don't really want no one, but it's like you do. And you know, but the divine feminine, like this this is how this person sees you as the divine feminine. Or masculine, you know, the, the um it can go either way, guys. It can go either way. So that is really gorgeous. So let's go in with the tarot now. So someone wants to ascend, they want to grow with you. 
Oh. So sweet, guys. Okay. What's coming towards my beautiful Sagittarius is for the second half of February. What's coming towards my Sagittarius is Please clarify these cards. Clarify resurrection. Also, you might get a message at night time as well. Okay, too many cards, but I did see the Queen of Cups, so someone's definitely in love here. Okay, can we just have... Oh, my God. It's like five cards just flew out. One card, please. Thank you. Someone's in a lot of emotions for you. Yep, the Queen of Cups came out again. What did I just say? Someone's in love. Definitely could be a Scorpio or Pisces or a Cancer. They just been staring at this for time. I feel like someone's been in their emotions for time. Okay. But they're in love. Someone is in love with you. That's really, really gorgeous. And look at the way she's looking at it. Can you see? She's like... Oh my god look at it it's so precious also the lid is on the cup so i do feel like someone hasn't expressed this to you yet or they've just held on to it for a long time but they're going to tell you that they love you if you don't know this already okay if you're already in a relationship with someone then they just want to move it to the next level okay so that's really nice what's coming towards my beautiful sagittarius is February okay so we've got the two of one so yes like I said someone sees you as the center of their world that man is holding the world in his hand he's got his wand he's leaving all the stuff behind he's made a decision and the decision is to go towards who he wants and that is the queen of cups so look if you see the way it's looking he's looking at her okay so some of you could be holding back your feelings because you just you don't know how someone feels about you but just clarification they're feeling you okay someone's also thinking about wanting to plan a future with you they're just thinking what it would be like what's coming towards sages yes yes because we've got the king of wands here so we've got definitely could be dealing with um a fire sign like another fire sign apart from you sag or this could be your energy you could be looking at someone that you really want it could be a water sign or you could have water in your chart I don't know, but this um, king right here, he's very passionate, very attracted to the person, and he's a go-getter. So someone is very, very attracted to you sexually, and they want you. And they're all looking in the direction of this queen, but this queen is not looking behind her. She's kind of focused in this cup. So this could be like a message that you're receiving or you're sending to someone, and they're just looking at it like, oh... And yeah, like we go from the two to the king of wands. So there's one wand here. So this man has left that behind. He's like, yeah, this is what I want. This is what I'm going for. I feel like someone, again, they just feel like it's very sexy that you're very driven and very indep independent. Independent, and I want to say um, opinionated. And we've got, oh, I told you someone's wishing upon the star. We've got the nine of cups here, which represents wish fulfillment. Celebration, getting all you what you want. This is happiness. Okay. Interesting. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Also, if it's someone from your past, I feel inclined to say it because the cards underneath, we know we've got the Seven of Swords. This is sneaking, lying, and cheating, betrayal. And then this is second chance. And then we've got the devil energy here. And then we've got... So if this is someone from your past, um, I don't know, they might want to confess something to you. They could have just been lying about the way that they feel about you or that someone as well could have judged you in the wrong way because you're so empowered and you're so independent. Someone might have judged you and they might have thought that you don't really want a man or you're not capable of love or something like that, but they misjudged you. Okay. Someone's also lying to themselves about something. Also, I feel like somebody could be sneaking alcohol, hoping that they're not going to get judged. Because that's not really a good thing to do. I don't know, that's for some of you. Who's sneaking alcohol? Hmm? Who's doing it? <laughs> okay, let's clarify these quads. 
Please clarify the Queen of Cups. I'm loving this energy though. This is really beautiful. Mm, it's nice. Please clarify the Queen of Cups. What's coming towards Sagittarius is, wow, I told you. Did I not say someone's going to message you and she's looking at the message? This represents communication. This could be fast communication, communication online. But there's a lot of passion here. Someone is like... They're just infatuated with you, I just heard. They're just infatuated. Someone is coming to you as well. Like, if you put boundaries up, this person is coming to knock all of that shit down, to get you in your feelings. But I feel like this is going to be some really good news that's going to make you just happy and giddy inside. Please clarify the two of wands. We have the eight of pentacles. So someone has been working on what they want to say to you. Someone as well also sees you as a very hard worker. Definitely could be dealing with somebody at work okay if not this could be you as well like some of you could just be because you're very independent you know man or woman take it however it resonates you're probably just focused on your work right now you're not really paying attention to anyone else or any offers that you're getting you're just focusing on your craft and um this person is watching you also i feel like somebody likes to watch you work there might be something that you do that is visible like if someone doesn't work with you they might um see something that you do like you might be so, you might do something with your hands or with your mouth like public speaking or something so you do something that's very empowering to people i feel or you do something with your hands or on the computer you could have a youtube channel you could be an artist you could be a writer you see she looks like she's drawing on the screen there and it's like someone is just focused on working. They're not really like looking about love. You could be dealing with a um, earth sign as well, Ca um, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. But someone is working on making plans with you in the future. They see that you're very independent and they want to gift you with the world. Because someone has, um, they find comfort in knowing that you're independent because when they're going to give you what they want to give you, they know that you're not going to be with them because of what they can give because you've got your own, but they want to spoil you anyway. Yeah? Please can't find the King of Wands. Okay, that was too many cards. Let me shuffle, please. King of Wands, King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? The Six of Cups. So, two ways I'm reading this, guys. This is Scorpionic Energy as well. Now, there could be children involved or somebody just definitely wants to have children with you okay also some of you might find out that you're pregnant or you might have kids and you're just like okay we need to get married now hello um so yes also as well like i said like this love takes you back to childhood this could be a childhood sweetheart or someone that you've known and you've grown up with and you've always had emotion for you didn't know that you liked each other and now it's like oh my god i'm in love with you oh my god but Either way, this person is very nostalgic about you, so they're thinking really positive thoughts about you. Now, the other situation is this is somebody from your past that wants to return to you. Because this, this talks about soulmates, but it also speaks about, um, yeah, someone from the past wanting to come back. Okay, especially with the Six of Cups, you know, that's um, domesticity, family and love, home life. So, yeah, somebody wants to come back home. They're determined to come back home. This king and queens, he's looking at her, which is his future. This could be a baby daddy looking at his baby mum and his child. Or when he looks at you, this is what he sees. Okay. But somebody wants to celebrate with you. They're just thinking very fondly about you. So that's really gorgeous. And then, yes expect the unexpected this person is coming to rush in to get what's theirs and that is you and justice at the underneath and then we've got um we've got the seven of swords again why is the seven of swords here someone's lying about something hiding sneaking someone could have just been in denial about their feelings as well okay but this is really beautiful energy guys okay now let's get some additional messages from the angels What's coming towards my beautiful Sagittarius? Is. Did I say? I'm hoping I'll keep saying Sagittarius, as you know. Sagittarius. What's coming towards my Sagittarius? Is. What's coming towards my beautiful Sagittarius? Is for February. Okay, we've got sacred plan and we've got blessings and abundance. Gorgeous energy.
energy and you're going to be blessed with a beautiful connection, okay? Sacred plan, the universe has been plotting all along. With all these stars, I'm telling you, the galaxy's been here looking out for you, okay? Also, I feel like someone is planning something with you because they feel like you're very sacred because they see you as a divine feminine and they know they've got to take you. Oh my God. Hi, guys. <laughs> okay. I feel like this connection is going to be very explosive because that just happened but blessing and abundance and oh it could be someone who's tall dark and handsome look at him mm. or it could be a girl or oh, manifestation underneath with the stars again someone is calling you in or you're calling in someone else all right one more card before the time cuts out it's coming towards the Sagittarius's what advice can you give them someone's about to be truly blessed here that's really gorgeous energy I don't feel like you're going to see it coming as well yeah yep 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 we've got gentleness and we've got miracles so someone who's very masculine very alpha male when it comes to you they're gentle they're weak they just want to come and take care of you okay and this is a miracle this is a blessing we've got blessings and abundance and miracles from a man okay or a woman take it as however it resonates but yes gorgeous energy so that's what's coming towards you guys. I hope that you liked the reading. Um, feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, if you would like to donate to the channel, my information for my PayPal is in the description box below. And I'm also working on my own Afro Tarot deck. So if you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you want to follow me on my art account, the information is in the description box below. I sell a lot of things, guys, you know. So uh, thank you so much for watching but this is beautiful energy like wish fulfillment and miracles and blessings and abundance is coming to someone and i feel like they're not going to be expecting it or if this is someone that you're already with like you're just in a very blessed connection and it's about to go and ascend to something else you might be starting a family with this person or something like that so that's really really beautiful okay okay bye